Welcome back to the Weekly Headlines. I'm Kevin Hart. I'm Mike Winmacher. And let's get to that news. All right, what can we be mad about today? Let's see, no mad again. Oh, there's no mask mandate, really. What do we got? Kardashian, no. Uh, Smollett, that's already happened. Uh, police reform, sure, that'll do. All right, <clears throat> Republicans are still apoplectic that a bill taking effect soon bans chokeholds, even the ones that once praised it. Okay, not all of them are upset that's going away. It's a welcome change, but many of the proposed changes are apparently a direct catalyst for a rise in crime. You know, it's sort of like saying, I haven't started working out regularly yet, but as you can see, I'm already thinner. The state of Illinois earlier this week fined Blue Cross Blue Shield $339,000 for failing to notify regulators about the major changes in its medical provider network after the insurer cut ties with Springfield Clinic. Of course, it was reported earlier this month that the split left many Blue Cross Blue Shield customers unable to access the providers through Springfield Clinic and unable to find new doctors who are accepting patients. Uh, quick question here. Uh, where, where's the punchline for this bit? I mean, I know I had one. Wait, wait, what? what? We switched punchline providers? Well, nobody told me that. Can, can we get, oh, we, we do. We got, we got, no, wait, this is just telling me, we're just telling me that, that the new punchline provider is also full. And, and wait a minute, what, what else is coming my way here? Is it, th th now now what, else, what else am I getting? Do we actually find somebody? A bill for $10,000? Son of a bitch! In a week where Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton said Pride Week is a violation of state law and the lead prosecutor looking into Trump quit because he may skate past responsibilities again, the most embarrassing thing I've seen this week, or maybe this entire year, has to be the Kentaji Brown Jackson hearings. Uh, no, she's more cool than qualified, I have no complaints. But the qualifications of some of these Republicans? Yeah, at breakneck speed they went from this won't be a ridiculous circus like Judge Boof to why are babies racist? Are you secretly gonna indoctrinate kids with CRT? Why are you lenient with pedophiles? You know, I guess they're just antsy since Justice Clarence Thomas was <clears throat> sick for some time and his wife had her hand in the insurrection cookie jar. Wait. Two Democrat picks back to back. Could you imagine Mitch McConnell would have a stroke? Oh, stop it. That's not in good taste. <laughs> what do a Michigan man who looks like Wiley Coyote on a bender and a retired Florida man who looks like Baby Huey have in common? Apparently, more than you may think. Because as you see in a recent interview with Tuck Everlasting, Kid Rock stated that the former president had asked him on what to do about North Korea. Now, now, before you roll your eyes, the retired Florida man, in his defense, I'm pretty sure he thought Rock's lyrics to Ba with the Ba were him speaking Korean. Ah, the Oscars are upon us. I said the Oscars are upon us. Can we turn on that applause sign? It's on. It, oh, it is. Yeah, well, um, <laughs> I don't care about the Oscars either. It's hard to get hyped up about a three-hour ceremony of celebrities are just jerking each other off, finishing by introducing a new popular category so people can vote for Spider-Man. I sincerely hope the music for it is Kristen Chenoweth singing popular Alar from Wicked. Also, the cut category is editing. Literally cut. Production design? <laughs> you can design these. He's nuts. <laughs> Got him. An animated short? Wow. The Academy has an animated short to help explain how they feel about it. The St. Peter's Peacocks made quite a splash in the first two rounds of the NCAA tournament last weekend. First, the small private school out of New Jersey defeated a college basketball blue blood in Kentucky and then defeated Murray State in the round of 32. Meanwhile, the Peacock streaming network is hoping to be able to take Tubi or Crackle sometime pretty soon. And those are your weekly headlines. I'm Mike Wimacher. I'm Kevin Hart. And, and we are out of here. I'm getting too old for this shit.